Okay, this is the issue that I have. The camera always makes me look like super light. But my skin tone is like this. Like this is my real skin tone. Cafe au lait. Black coffee. Cafe au lait. black coffee hey guys welcome back to my channel so this is the first time in a long time where i make a video and it actually looks like my skin tone this is my skin tone i'm very dark i've said this so many times on my channel and also for the dark makeup i don't know what the hell is going on i just i don't know i just felt like doing black makeup today here's a close-up of it and I'm also thinking of posting like starting to post videos on my uh, makeup channel but like I wanted to wait until I have a good camera for that so um, you guys can actually help me out on that I have a patreon and I'm gonna do like makeup lessons dance lessons advice advice stuff like that um i'm gonna link my patreon down below and also my p.o box will be in the description box down below so um yeah so i filmed this haul before and i didn't like how it looked it just like my skin tone was like was like this and i just didn't like it so here i am doing this all over again the first thing that i got i went to the store called avail like shimamura and avail and i like to go there a lot because like they usually have brands there like nike and like they mostly have like nike and other fun little stuff and they're really affordable as well so I saw this clear bag and they had them in different colors but smaller like about half the size of this and I just went for the bigger bag because I'm always carrying a whole bunch of stuff like this has been me since high school and like even before high school I've been carrying a lot of load and like I just don't know how people carry around like those tiny purses those really small handbags I don't know how to do that so I just got this I think it was like 500 yen um, that's like five dollars US about five dollars like 500 and something yen or was it 500 flat say five dollars US and it came with this little um, yellow and white pouch and that's another reason why I got it as well because I don't have anything like yellow this seems like a cute little pouch that I can carry around on its own um, it's a really thick material as well for the price and inside is just like stuffing that I really need to get rid of so the handle I really like the handle it's like rope so it's really thick and then the plastic is really thick as well and then it's just like this right here with with like a really big knot on the inside so in the same store I think I think I got this in I don't know I don't remember if it was Shimamura or Avail but I picked up these pink heels they're like a blush pink and they're really cute it has a snap on the side like two of them so it snaps here and there pearl and diamond detailings on the front I don't know I think it's really cute it's a size medium um, I think this was also for 500 yen this was on sale um, so that again is five dollars US it's really cute and comfortable so here I am again a lot of these are medium and they're very comfortable like I don't know what it is with my feet like I can't stick to one size and that's like really annoying for me um, sometimes a medium will fit me like perfect sometimes a large will fit me perfect sometimes sometimes an extra large will fit me perfect and it's like really confusing and mind-boggling and just really annoying so um, yeah I just have to Put that out there to you guys if you have these problems too let me know 
Also, um, these are a medium and they are cushioned. So, you know, if something is cushioned, that means there's extra padding going on and that means that it's going to appear a little smaller. It's going to feel a little smaller, but it's still very comfortable. And that's, that's just very confusing to me. That's my life. That's, that's my feet's life right now at the moment. So, yeah. I guess I haven't worn it yet, but um, yeah, if I don't like it, I'll probably sell it back to one of you guys or something. I don't know. So, yeah. This brand, Pal All Stars Pal Group Outlet. That's really long. So, at this store, I picked up a full outfit. Oh, firstly, this is a top that I got from my mother in law. It's this really cute blue top. This would go perfect with pencil skirts and, I don't know, like skinny jeans, but mostly pencil skirts because of the detailing that it has on the waist right here. So for this brand, I picked up this top. It was on sale as well. I didn't try it on, which I think I should have tried it on because when I got home and I looked at the size, it said large as for price I don't remember how much it was I think it was either within the same 500 yen price range this is just a tag that's on the inside and it has the name of the store on it and also I picked up two skirts I picked up two skirts um, one skirt to match that one and it's like this color so this is the top and this is the skirt. I think they look really, really, really cute together. It's like, I don't know, I didn't try this on either. So yeah, and I picked up another skirt just like this, but in gray. I don't know, I've been obsessing with gray a lot. So I also forgot to mention that I got these heels about a year and a half ago or rude about a year ago or so um i got this from the brand gu it's a size medium i've worn these only about three or four times um and i hate them they still look they still look new they're just like dirty um they're like this really cute like nude color like this but they're very uncomfortable though though they're really uncomfortable though don't let the pretty shoes fool you they're uncomfortable for me at least and the heels are super short i don't know if it's, if it's because it's not like modeled to fit me but um yeah if i don't find anything if i don't find anything to replace these what am I trying to say? If I find something to replace these, I might sell it back to one of you guys. So um, yeah, I'll keep you posted about that. Okay, so I went to this store called Bell. Um, it's in the city and it's I got this Gucci inspired dress. So it has the Gucci going across the chest and on the sleeves. I think this would look so freaking bomb. Like, I can't wait to go back to this store because they have so many cute stuff. Oh, the Gucci inspired dress, I think it was about $3,000 or so. About 3,000 yen. So that's like, how much is that? 3,000, oh, that's a like, that's about 300 US dollars. I don't know, correct me if I'm wrong. Read that. I don't remember. I'll put it somewhere down here. So I got these shoes. And I'm really excited for the shoes. And the reason for that is because it has cocoa on the inside. Like how cool is that? And I'm loving like the shimmer that's going on right here. You should know I'm obsessed with bling and diamonds and I'm just obsessed with it these shoes fit awkward as well I think it's because they were made awkward um, oh also I have very long big toes 
so that's a part of my issue as well in the in this it's comfortable but my big toes are kind of touching a little bit if I got a large it would have been too big and I would literally just just walk out of the shoes so I I rather just curl my toes up when I'm wearing this it's it's still comfortable but it's just my big toes that are touching a little bit so yeah So the first thing in here is this sweat sweater top. Very extra on the sleeves. Very extra. It has this metal, 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 iron metal detailing going down the sleeves and also across like where would I say like the arm and I also tried on a gray one and I couldn't choose between the black one or the gray so I picked up the gray one as well and it just looks like this oh I forgot the price the price is 5,909 yen so you're looking at about 6,000 something so like a little over 12,000 yen it is just this top that says 1974 this is something that you definitely have to wear with a sports bra it's like a navy blue color and i also picked up this sweatshirt because autumn is like autumn is coming and it's just this sweatshirt this yellow sweatshirt that says toronto bears totally college university i don't know where that at but this is what it looks like and it's plain on the back and the price for this was 1,299 yen I also picked up these pants like they're just very comfortable they're giving me like lazy wear like you just throw this on with a regular regular top like a spaghetti spaghetti strap top or like you know something something um, it's also giving me mom vibes I don't know <laughs> and the price for this is 1,299 yen and I also got a blue one as well because I want something that I can just throw on to go to work and it's just this blue one so the last thing in here I got this pants this flared pants I love it so much GP and J Baker H&M um, the price for this was 5,999 yen and it's like this very tropical you can't even see me like this is huge y'all this is the detailing on the foot um, I really like it I really like the fit this was a size 34 no 2p in US size I don't know how, what kind of sizing that is but it's a size 2p in US so for forever 21 I actually I have two bags so the first thing in here is one of this um, another flared pants this is just the design overall design it's like a blue green color no detailing on the bottom just plain um, it has a zip on the back no it has a zip on the where is the zip hat oh it has a zip on the back and the price for this is 2490 yen and the size is a small I don't know certain things in forever 21 comes in extra small and some things don't um, this fits me good but I think an extra small would have fit me like a whole lot better so yeah I got this sweatshirt dress type situation um this is just the design on the back looks like this it's long sleeved and the hemline area is like just this i don't know this curved shape the price for this was 1500 yen and this is a size small this is another long sleeve top and it looks like this this Loki looks like a rib cage Loki looks like a rib cage but anyways it's long sleeve and it's cropped and the price for this is 1490 
this is a size medium um there wasn't any more small so i just picked up the medium so i picked up this um top as well i don't know i don't know if this is something like yeah you can totally wear this to work you just need to like wear something on the inside um what else? This is a size small and it's for 1,790 yen. It has long sleeves as well and it's cropped. It's kind of cropped and it's very see-through so you definitely have to wear something with this. Um, a bodysuit would look a whole lot better with this I think instead of like a bra. A bodysuit, yeah, a bodysuit for work. Yeah, that would look a whole lot better other than just... I don't know i don't know so the last thing in here is this barrette and it looks like this let me try to have this on i don't i don't i haven't worn one of these in a very long time Alright, so for shoes, the first one I picked up was this plum colored heels. Um, this edition is the, not edition, um, collection. This one is the After Dark collection. This is in a size 7 and the price for this was 3,990 yen. And it looks like this. It's one of those thigh high boots and this is just what the inside looks like but it's not that all the way down it gets like comfortable like there's a different type of material as you go down so i just realized something i realized that my right leg is longer than my left leg so i've been realize i've been wondering like why why am i so uncomfortable whenever i walk in heels like i feel like i have to catch up to something like i have to catch up to one of my other foot and now I just realized that my right leg is a lot longer than the left one. So it's a lot uncomfortable to walk in heels with my right leg. And I feel a lot comfortable with my left leg, but the right one is like a no. So like I always have to bend my right leg a lot more than the left one. So um, yeah, that's, that's what's been going on. So um so yeah so the last thing in here is this other pair and this is actually a size 8 because i couldn't find a size 7 don't come for me where's the price tag i think the price is pretty much the same but um yeah it looks like this it's supposed to be worn like very scrunched scrunched up it's another thigh high and it has this like elastic on the side and it just looks like this one thing that i've realized now is the plum shoe is a size 7 and this one is a size 8 i feel a lot more comfortable in the size 8 so maybe i've gone up a size I got me a MacBook Pro and this is the gift to myself that pretty much drained my account. Okay, it's right here. She's right here. It wasn't the one that I really, really, really wanted. I wanted the one with the touch bar, but that one is going for like about 300000 and uh, uh. I don't know if it's cheaper in the US. I don't know. I don't remember. But. Okay. So this is her right here. Um, I got a 13 inch 
um, a 13 inch MacBook Pro. It's not it's not that heavy. Um, I saw the 12 inch, the pink MacBook Pro, but everyone says that that's not suitable for people who um, edits videos. It will overheat a whole lot and starts to like get slow. I am the worst person ever to make videos. Um, so yeah, I also forgot to mention that I got some real gold earrings from my father-in-law and it's from this brand called Formudia. I'm going to show it to you in another, in another video because there's something that I want to talk about. So I'm going to show them next time. It's, just, it's also the same brand where I got my um, ring from. But other than that, I got glasses, like sunglasses from one of my friends. I think I took a glimpse of it. It's like pink. Yeah, it's pink. This is pink sunglasses. I don't know how these look on me, but yeah. They look like this. I never really like to go for these shapes of eyeglasses, but I don't know. We'll see how it looks on me in the future. Yeah, that was it for this try on haul. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. There was a fucking dragonfly. Oh my god. This whole pile of clothing is ma is like putting me into like an I want to go out mood. But before I do that, I need to get new makeup.